Most people in America have some sort of moral compass, what is right to do, what is wrong to do, and how to live their life either more like you or less like you. You see, every human being has the richness and the availability of having a life balance. And when we have life balance, we are literally in balance with God. You see, God gives us different areas and criteria which make us important to Him. But when we don't do things right by Him, then He might not find us as important to Him is somewhat true and somewhat false. You see, to Jesus Christ, which most people consider as Lord Most High in the Christian condition and all the Catholics and Methodists and Lutherans who literally play in, is that He is Lord of all. If He is Lord of all, how do you determine whether you're listening to Him or not? If you can't determine whether you're listening to God and His angels or whether you're listening to God and His Satan, how do you know what to do? You see, a Satan spirit will tell you to violate someone's rights. A Satan spirit will tell you to steal something from someone's property bags. A Satan spirit will tell you to gossip about information that may or may not be true, but harm someone's conditions. And a Satan spirit is what American culture is now promoting across the nation. When I say this, I can say this with fervor because most places you go as a homeless person don't care about you. Many employees are so offended that they are that close to the poverty line themselves that they don't like the reminder of you. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and whether or not you hear my radio cast, audio cast, or whether you see my video with my face on it, it doesn't really matter today. What matters today is where you are in your life plan and your life situation. Are you on track for retirement? Are you on track in your career? Are you on track in your love life? Are you on track that in a way that God is pleased?